pull the drive out, put aside. <coughs> okay, case comes off. He's dusting down. Wi-Fi antenna. Just pull it off. Talks T8. Pull those eyes. Flip it back over. Must remember to remove the seal, it will void your warranty. And the Torx T8 screw underneath. Security Torx. That now allows you to take off the bottom cover. Pull it up. Push it off. <clears throat> to get the power supply out, we've also got to take this screw out here. Not this one on the outside, but this one in the inside just here. Flip it back over. You should be able to now pull this out ever so slightly. And if you're changing your power supply, what you do is you pull this connector out, there's your power supply. Unhook the Wi Fi connector. And then you can swap out your power supply for a new one. Blu-ray mechanical problems, or if you want to get out the fan, if your console is overheating, you want to clean out the heat sink and the fan unit underneath here. This panel's got to come off next. So all these screws here, every screw that you can see on this panel here has got to come out. Some PS4 models, the slim models that you see, uh, when you get to remove this panel, get to the when you want to remove this panel from here, you may find that there aren't any screws here, but instead you've got uh, these plastic bubbles that are kind of moulded onto the uh, onto the plate. They're extremely tricky to get off. What you have to do is you have to get a screwdriver underneath, and you have to flick them all off. Uh, and once they're off, they'll never go back on again. Uh, I don't know why they decided to put the plastic moulded bits on instead of screws. It makes it much more difficult. Uh, and it never really sits on uh, properly afterwards. But there you go. This, is, this one's got screws on. All the screws are off, this panel comes off, put it aside. With the Blu-ray, watch this little plastic clip here. It, sit, it just sits on there. When you're putting the console back together again, just make sure that you put that on there. Don't forget to put it back on there. So I'm just gonna take that off for now. So you can see the fan here has got a bit of dust in. The heat sinks here has got dust on as well. So what you want to do is get take it outside uh, with a paintbrush or with a vacuum. Make sure that all this is clean properly and all this. If your console's overheating, you want to remove any sign of dust around this area here. And when you put it back together, it should be working properly again. Now for the Blu-ray uh, Blu mechanical issues, uh, this is this has got to come off here. So there are two screws here, one, two, those have got to come off. So if your disc gets stuck inside the console, 
uh, or if it's not playing the games properly, the first thing to check is to see if you've got a mechanical issue. Those two screws come out, this comes off. Just quickly check to make sure that's working okay. And you want to look, make sure that all these, um, all these parts here, these plastic parts are all in place. Uh, sometimes these get broken off and if they do, it won't work properly. Usually if it gets, if they break off, you will get some debris inside the, the drive. So you will, you know, normally you'll notice uh, that something is broken from, uh, from this cover. Also very often, uh, the integrity of this uh, drive mechanical uh, top cover uh, gets bent. Uh, sometimes people drop things on the consoles. If this gets bent, when you put a disc in to play the, to play the console, it will make a rattling noise uh, when it spins. To, uh, to rectify that, you want to make sure that this gets straightened out properly. Uh, so you may need to play around with it for a bit until you get it properly straightened out. Other things to look out for, make sure the laser's working. Uh, you can clean this laser bit here with your cold clean spray. So give the laser a clean. Uh, this is a cold clean spray. You can use WD-40 by the way. Uh, I, I see some websites saying not to use WD-40, but take it from me, it's completely fine. Give the laser eye a bit of a clean. If it's, especially if it's dust, you've got debris on it. Uh, if your laser's not working properly, very often you'll find that this will sort the problem out. Other things to look out for, the other major common problem that we see, and make sure this is moving up and down properly like that. Very often this white rolling pin has disappeared uh, or has come out, so you want to get that out and put it back in place. But also, if the disc is struggling to go in and out of the console properly, remove one side, then you want to remove this side as well. So I'm just going to use the white rolling pin to pull that bit out there. And what you want to do is get your spray again and some kitchen towel. And what you want to do is give these rollers here a really good clean. So thoroughly clean those, both of them. They get sticky, they get dust on, they get debris on, uh, and it stops your drive from working properly. Also give it a good clean inside while you've got it open. It's going to clean this as well over here. This isn't too bad on this particular console, but uh, it won't hurt to give that a clean as well. <clears throat> then you can put your rollers back in. So left hand roller clips back in like that. Right hand roller. I'm just gonna leave that for a second while I put this pin in. So they put the pin in to that side first. Then I'm going to put this side in and then clip it in. And there you go, that's back there, that's back and working properly and it's been cleaned. Put it back together again. Make sure that's sitting on there properly. Make sure the two screws go back in at the top of the drive. Put your little metal screw connector just back on there. Okay. Next you want your metal cover back on. You can fit it over, make sure it fits over that hole there and then it should clip back on and put the screws back in. I think that one goes in there now. Um, Where's it gone? Plug your power supply back in. Make sure it's the right way up, of course.
this key bit can be really blooming tricky. Okay. Four screws back in there. Okay, so then put the rest of the screws back in all around these points here, put your Wi-Fi screw back in and then you can put the cover back on the top and on the bottom uh, and away you go.